Now, if you have been watching the channel for the last couple weeks, I have officially started my search for my new hypercar. There's 10 different cars that I'm considering. I'll put a photo of each car right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog and welcome here to Denver, Colorado. So I have a friend who lives here in Denver. He is the Bugatti expert to end all Bugatti experts and he's gonna help me try to decide if a Veyron should be a front runner or we're going Bugatti shopping today, boys. Also, quick shout out to my Chevy Malibu rental car. It's finished here in asphalt gold and it's an LT. I'm trying to find launch control. We got the plus minus here on the shifter. We got traction control off. Hit it, full send, foot is to the floor. It's an LT, baby. And does she cruise? Wait, this is a Malibu, not a cruise. We are headed to a highly undisclosed location somewhere deep in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. There is a black Bugatti Veyron there. This particular car is not for sale, but we want to see the car. We want to digest the car. We want to learn about the Bugatti Veyron in a detail in which I have never studied a car because every other time I've seen a Veyron, I've been like a kid at a candy store just drooling, but I can't afford anything. Now the hypercar purchase is going to be the scariest, biggest purchase of my entire life. And as much as I want to speed up the process, patience is going to be essential. You might say the videos always exponentially get better when you have the key to a Bugatti Veyron. We have arrived at that highly undisclosed location. You might want to sit on down because when you see this car, you are going to freak out. Are you kidding me? The legendary Bugatti Veyron. I know there's nine other cars that I'm looking at, but as I'm standing right here and I'm looking at this Veyron, all other nine cars ceased to exist. When this car was built, it was the world's fastest production car. We're talking 250 plus miles an hour, 1,001 horsepower, and this car has four turbos. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, this car is not for sale. We're just here for some, you know, you know what I mean. I'm kind of sort of at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say. This car, when I was a little kid, this was the car. This was the coolest car that money could buy. It was over a million dollars brand new. It set every single performance benchmark. It is the most surreal experience to actually be considering a Bugatti Veyron. Okay, so we're gonna gingerly step inside the Veyron. Obviously, I have $12 shorts on. I dressed up for the occasion. We're just gonna go so carefully because this French leather, are you kidding me? I don't feel like I should be getting in this car. I am not worthy of the Bugatti. Ooh, it's very, very snug. Okay, maybe I do fit in this car pretty well. Wow. Before you guys start typing away, yes, I know this is the same key that you get in a Volkswagen Jetta, but it says EB on it and it powers a 16 cylinder quad turbocharged thousand horsepower engine. So it's not quite a Volkswagen Jetta. Every single movement I make in this car has to be ultra precise. We're gonna turn the ignition on. Yo. That's four turbos, boys. I can't take this smile off my face. I feel like a nine-year-old kid right now. I still remember the first time I saw a Veyron, my jaw legit hit the floor. And to think that I'm actually considering one of these cars, the fastest car in the entire world. Imagine the video, the vlog, where I test the top speed of a Veyron. Oh my goodness. The other nine cars are cool, but like, I mean, it's a Veyron. Yo, oh my goodness. This car is the ultimate Batmobile. This is one of the sickest Veyrons I have ever seen. The all black looks incredible. We're gonna drop it into handling mode, which drops the front end and raises the back wing. The car gets so low. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is subtly dropping down, and then we have the wing raising up right there. Yo. I officially don't know how to vlog anymore. My mind can't even function right now seeing this car and to think that someday I could possibly own a Veyron. Like, this car is also so sick. Why can't this car be for sale? It is all black. It is the ultimate Batmobile. I don't know, guys. Like, the other nine cars are dropping so, so fast to the bottom and the Veyron is climbing so, so high. What do you guys think? Is the Veyron the front runner? It's also the most expensive because the maintenance on a Veyron is 
kind of sort of crazy. I'm gonna drop a little Veyron knowledge on you guys. They built 450 Veyrons from 2005 to 2015. This is the original car. There's three other iterations. There's the Grand Sport, which is the convertible version of this car. Then there's the 1200 horsepower Super Sport. That's the fastest production Veyron ever built. And then they have the Vitesse, which is a convertible version of the Super Sport. Here we are inside the legendary Bugatti Veyron. I do not feel worthy. This interior is so timeless. It's so classic. Heinrich, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. Thanks, Thanks for having nice. me, dude. Welcome to Colorado. Thank you. It's a beautiful, beautiful state, beautiful day. We're in the legendary Veyron. What do you think? Should I get a Bugatti? I think you should. <laughs> I think I should too. Oh, you're is, that, is that even a question, James? You are a terrible influence on me, Heinrich. Jeez. Whoa. See how it, 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 it went faster? Yeah, it was you just a build, smidge faster. Yeah, you have to build up the, uh, the, the RPMs. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll let this guy go a little bit yeah, further. Yeah, come on, get out of here. Also, I noticed the seat belts work very, very well. That's oh, yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> and James, also something very, very important. When you have a thousand and one horsepower, it's very important to drive it like an old man. Oh, is that is that true? It will keep you out of jail. <laughs> we don't want to go to jail. That is All not right, a here vlog. We go. Oh. Here we go. Drive like an old man, eh? Drive like an old man. Oh, we got we I'm got red and blue. Saying, We're I'm, going to J. I'm, I'm just, just I got saying, you to look. I I'm had you just look. saying. <laughs> drive it like an old man. Very important. <sighs> That's what Mr. Miyagi says. You're not wrong. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was a that was a next level right there. I don't think life gets any better than this. We're in the Colorado Rocky Mountains in a Bugatti Veyron, driving like old men. Life does not get any better than that. Gee, I don't know if I should get this car. We're going to end up in the county jail. Like, what's going to happen? That is insanity. Four turbos, 10 radiators. It takes 16 man hours to make one radiator. And this Ford Explorer just can... No, don't hit... Oh, yes! Yes! Thank you! We appreciate you! Oh my goodness! The sound is unreal inside the car! That's crazy! Colorado is just flexing on the nation right now! We're chasing views on views in a Veyron! Yo! Some of you guys might remember, I brought the Countach out here years ago. I feel so unworthy getting in and out of this car. You want to be so cautious because you're like, I don't know, I can't, I cannot speak. This car is amazing and I want it and I really, really want it. Listen to the sound of the door close. The build quality on a Veyron is next level. I am at a complete loss of words. I have like stage fright right now. I had this whole list, all these things I wanted to talk to you guys about, trying to decide if the Veyron was the car for me. And now that I'm standing here riding in the car, my brain has gone completely blank. I cannot think. And just look at this car here in Colorado, just flexing on the nation. Oh my goodness. I think it might be the right choice. My brain is like half functioning now. It's starting to come back to life a little bit. Look inside the Veyron right there. You can see the monstrosity, the enormity of that muffler right there. You can see the cats right there. The rear tires on the Veyron are 365 millimeters wide. They're the widest production car tires known to man. Like I said earlier, the maintenance on a Veyron is a little bit more expensive than the other cars I'm looking at. The tires last three to 4,000 miles. They're $38,000 to replace. $38,000, that is not a misprint, $38,000. Now every third tire change, you also have to change out the wheels because the wheels are actually glued to the tires. Now a wheel and tire combo on the third change is right around 75,000 to 80,000 euros. Like I said, the maintenance on a Veyron is just a smidge more spendy than your average country sedan. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, we're just we're just chilling. We're actually doing 35 right honest now. Honest so. officer, I yeah, was honest. driving safely, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I told you there was going to be a Bugatti Chiron, and sure enough, welcome to the beautiful state of Colorado. I am going to be completely ruined today. Are you kidding me? We have the black Chiron and the black Veyron. 
What? There are days you'll remember your entire life. Chalk it down, boys. Today, June 21st, 2020, Chiron Veyron. Life really doesn't get any better. 1,500 horsepower, we got four turbos. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Yo, what? That's, that's warm. <laughs> this is such a cool day. Okay, I can feel the extra five hundred Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a conservative 55 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure of it. Wow, the Veyron is fast. Is fa wow, I cannot speak. The Veyron is fast. The Chiron is warp speed. See ya. Oh my gosh. The sound of the turbo spooling up. I don't know, boys. I think we need four turbos. Two turbos is cool, but four is four more than the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, and that's really what we want. I love how the window automatically rolls up when we go full send. That is so cool. I've never been in any car that does that. That is the most beautiful view we have ever seen on the channel, bar none. That is it. Wow. That was the greatest turbo sound I have ever heard in my entire life. is a terrible influence on me though. Terrible, terrible influence. I don't know what to do now. I think I need to join the Bugatti squad somehow, some way. That car in handling mode is not in handling mode now. I'm just saying it's... Do you guys remember earlier when I couldn't figure out what to say? I am speechless. We have the all black Chiron, the all black Veyron. To see the evolution, to see the two cars, we just went full send in a Chiron on the highway. And when I say full send, obviously, we kept it, we kept it, we're good, we're good, we're good. 1,500 horsepower, 1,001 horsepower. How cool would it be to join the Bugatti family? I mean, it's legendary. All right, Xander, we need light revs, baby right, revs. And when I say baby revs, full send, right. full send. <laughs> Jeez. That is crazy. Dude, that sounds so sick. Yeah, a couple more, couple more. In the coolest sequence in a vlog ever, I'm gonna be driving the shear on from right here to right there. Hey, it counts, it counts, count it, we're counting it. This is actually insane. Are you kidding me? Yo. This is so crazy. We are actually driving a Bugatti Chiron right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to reverse it very, very carefully. Over here, I don't know what I'm doing. Over and down. Reverse. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. I am sweating like a fat pig right now. It is so hot, and we're in a four million dollar Bugatti. Whew, easy there, big fella. Easy, easy, easy. And we lived, barely we lived. I need to re-deodorize. That made sense, yeah, that made sense. And just like that, we're in the Veyron driving at Dino, dude. Go check him out on Instagram, link below. Have a good one, man. Good. See you, dude. <laughs> My battery is flashing red right now, so the video could be over very soon. Full send. Jeez. Okay, that's it, that's it, we're backing off. Wow. KA band is going off, but you know what? Sometimes in life, this is the final acceleration. Jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we're gonna chill. You told me to stomp on it. Stomp on it, go! Jeez. Next. <laughs> okay, we beat the Camaro. We're good. This is a spare tire from the Veyron. 365 millimeters wide. These are the diamond cut Vitesse wheels. Look how massive. Girth Nation, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. These tires are enormous. $38,000. That's right, $38,000. Enjoy this view of the Veyron because, well, she's gone. 
Back to the Malibu. Dun, 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 dun. I didn't convey this earlier, but I skipped my flight home to Utah to ride in the Chiron. So I was supposed to fly out today at 4.30. I missed my flight to ride in the Chiron. It was definitely 100% worth it. But now I need to book a different flight home. I don't know when I'm gonna get home. I don't know how I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna fly home, presumably. But uh, what do you guys think of the Veyron? Maybe that should be the next hypercar, the new hyper, the first hypercar. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.